I've been shooting with action cameras for over six years, GoPro Hero 5 to the Hero 10, and I think there's finally a competitor. Insta360 One RS. Is this the camera that'll kill the GoPro? Well, you let me know in the comments. Insta360 hooked me up with their new One RS Twin Edition. Some of the changes are that it's modular and versatile. You can switch the lens on the fly and it's pretty much two cameras in one. They came out with a new lens. It's a 4K boost lens with a half inch sensor and it's capable of 48 megapixel photos. But of course we didn't take any photos of this because this camera review is all about how to use it for cycling. The 360 lens is still the same 5.7K which is perfect so when you're done reframing you have a crispy ultra HD video. The brains of the operation has an upgraded core and processor, better for smoother stabilization and supposedly a faster Wi-Fi transfer. Speaking of stabilization, the new flow state stabilization is now built in and they say it's gimbal-like. The new camera has three mics built in, an updated algorithm, and a windproof mic cover, so the internal audio should sound a lot crispier. It comes with a new battery, it's supposed to be 21% more capacity than the old one. And just like the old one, it's waterproof up to 16 feet. They've also updated the mobile app and you can edit things straight from your phone and send it to social media. The desktop app, you can export things and get it ready for YouTube pretty easy as well. There are new accessories including this back mount which you can put the 360 camera on to give you some really cool video game like angles. Let's take all the audio equipment off. We're using the Rode Wireless Go 2 for this video. Just push a button. The case flips open. It's spring-loaded. Pretty nice. Pop the battery off. Remove the lens module. Take the 360 lens module. Plug it in. Pop the battery on. Slide it back in the case. There we go. So now you have a 360 camera. We're going to put this in video game mode. We rigged up a backpack. I'm gonna screw this into the selfie stick like that. And remember, you wanna keep it angled straight. You don't wanna do this. Keep it nice and straight because everything under the camera will become invisible. This is like a little hip uh, mount. I strapped it onto a backpack. All right. So here's the camera in this position. This is probably the most video game like shot I've ever got. Um, I have tried this before with a GoPro and a gimbal in the same angle way, way back in the day. And it produced a somewhat similar result, but I feel like the 360 camera with its stabilization does a better job at keeping me from bobbing and bouncing around too much. Um, it just looks a little more natural than that, but in my opinion, this is a cool view. Yo, shout out to Andre, he's got the camera on his helmet, hotline style. Check him out. Alright, for this next test, this is the classic helmet mounted hotline angle, if you will. And we shot this with the 4K boost lens in HDR mode at 30 frames a second. And this is straight out of the camera, no post-processing other than a little bit of distortion removal that I use in Premiere. I think the picture quality is great, um, it rivals the GoPro. I typically don't shoot hotlines without a gimbal on my helmet, I usually use a gimbal so it's not quite the same fair comparison. Um, but as soon as the ND filters come available for the Insta360 One RS, I will try this on a gimbal and see how those results match up to the GoPro. For this setup, I thought it was a good opportunity to use the boost lens slow motion at 60 frames a second, and this is all handheld. This is a great time to talk about the bike that I'm on. I'm on the Specialized Athos. It's SRAM Force. ETAP Axis 1 by It's a 42 in the front and a 10 to 32 in the rear. It's got disc brakes, all hydraulic, all electric, carbon frame. 
This bike rips. It's been such a long time since I've been on a really fast road bike like this. And I forgot how much fun they can be to rip around the city. So shout out to the pros closet for letting me borrow this bike. Here we have the classic POV from the chesty mount. I'm shooting again the 4K boost lens. And this looks very, very identical to what a GoPro would look like. Um, I think it does really well on the chest and it really handles the exposure well in my opinion. As you can see the sky looks like it's clipping but actually it was an overcast cloudy day so I don't mind that it's all white. Typically if it's a sunny day and the sky is blue, a lot of times the GoPro will clip those highlights and make that blue sky and clouds all white and try to adjust for the shadows where the Insta360 here is doing a great job of keeping everything in the really dark shadows lifted as well as not clipping in the highlights. Pretty good results with this. All right, for the next setup, we have the camera on this invisible stick and we have the stick zip tied here to the stem. It's like a little unicorn. A little bit sketchier to ride through traffic like this, but it does create a very cool looking effect. If you've been a subscriber of the channel for a while, you have seen this angle in the past. This is the 360 lens mount attached to an invisible selfie stick zip tied to my stem. Now I think this is a really cool angle to use if you want to talk to the camera or show your face from time to time. A lot of times cycling videos, it's just the handlebars facing outwards. This is a great time to show your face and show you dipping through traffic. It's a really interesting viewpoint. All right, for the next video, we got the Insta360 camera on the top of Andre's helmet really tall because he's a little shorter than me. So he's gonna get that tall point of view. Uh, and he's gonna follow me with 360 camera on the helmet. How ridiculous does he look? I gotta back all the way up to show you. Look at this. He's like a content ninja. For the last 360 lens mount, I have it on Andre's helmet with a huge extender to kind of make it feel like a drone. Now, out of all the 360 camera angles, this one feels the most like a hotline. Obviously, the distortion's not my favorite thing about this, but it does do a lot for capturing everything around you and reframing later. It's a beautiful way to use the 360 lens. All right, so we're finally done with all of the testing and the ride. We got our bistro burgers right here from Corner Bistro. We have some beer. Proper way to end the video. We are using the microphone built-in on the One RS now. Let us know what shots you thought were cool and what shots you didn't like as much. And make sure you thank Andre for all the cool filming. And uh, let us know what you think about this camera as well as the bike. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace. So we bring to a close the story of rigid control through the unceasing research and the highest quality.